All right, we got a question here. What's the question? This should be a crane job. Should this be a crane job? Can you guys see what's going on? That whole root plate started lifting, buckled the whole driveway here. Jeremy, walk up on there and see if you could. It's tough to tell how much of a rise that is. Good eight inches, maybe. At least a foot. And then there's the tree. No, I I think this should be a bucket job myself. Yeah. Crane would be safer, but. And then you're going to be putting stress on the tree itself that's coming down. So what are we going to do about that? If you had a crane here, you can just pick it off. No, we don't have a crane here, so what are we going to do? We're going to tie it off. Tie it off to the yeah. other way. Yeah, we're going to back guy it. Yeah. You got a, a big oak tree grew up in the woods here. Obviously, they did some paving around it, probably some root disturbance years ago. My client tells me that the tree has slowly started to move. I don't know why she waited so long to call. But this is a good, you can see the one leg straight and that leg's bent. It's, it's a very, this whole plate started lifting up. Sometimes it's tough to see that on camera. One of the other things I look for, I mean, this is very, very obvious. If you look to see whether a tree moved, you look for cracks in the soil, even small cracks. You got to distinguish the cracks from when it actually moved from just cracks sometimes when the soil dries out, it'll crack. The other thing I look for is space in the canopy, either on the one side, the branches will be crowding each other. On the other side, they'll be opening up. So we can clearly see some space in the canopy here. And the tree is actually a lot bigger than it looks. So we're going to have a 75-foot bucket truck here. That's hopefully going to get us where we need to go with it. If we have to rig out big pieces, which we may have to, uh, I just, you know, this, this root system can't be trusted at all to rig off itself. So we'll have to back guy. We'll basically get some kind of bull line and put it over here to this big tree, to the base of this big tree, and just to give it that support so we know it's, it's good for the rigging system. And once a big tree like this, that root plate started moving, it can really never be deemed 100% safe. So you have to look at the, how much risk the clients will only take 99% of the time we're taking trees out when those root plates start lifting. And when it's moved this far, no question about it, it's gotta go. Now you can see how close the tips of this big lead were to those wires. We had absolutely no room to let this branch run, which meant there was gonna be a lot more shock load on that trunk of the tree. With those two combined factors, had a lot of concern that this tree would fail if we didn't have that trunk back guide. Notice the angle that this tree was on. It was leaning pretty hard to the left in this picture. The bucket was maxed out, so we had to take that whole top from there, which is a fairly significant piece, especially given the lean of the tree and the fact that the root plate was so far lifted. Here's the same tree from a different angle. The lowering line is running down the trunk of the tree. It's a little more difficult to see the guy line, so we've highlighted the guy line in blue. The lowering line is in red, and that yellow is a sling with a block on it. Even with the guy line, there was a good bit of movement in this tree when that top let go. Still, I was 100% sure that the guy line was gonna be enough to make sure the root plate didn't lift. It was our insurance policy. This shot shows you the bottom of the lower line coming off the trunk of that tree. We actually had a sling and a block about halfway up the tree. At the bottom here, we were actually just running it around a small nub on the trunk. But this allowed us to lower from the back of the bucket truck while running the lowering line down the trunk of the tree fishing pole style to reduce bending moment or lateral forces on the tree.
Come on back. Come Yeah. All right, hold that. Whoa. It's good. A little bit off, huh? All yeah, right. That, this this was keeping it in. Just like that is. That's, I saw it. It wanted to go a little more that way. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Was keeping it up. And hey, maybe we were a little too tight on that, but hey, it all worked out. It's good enough. So that worked out pretty well. Here's another time we used a back guy line. The blue line running through the red block, that's the lowering line. The line coming off to the right is the guy line, which guying the tree, keeping it from moving too much under the force of that top coming out. So generally it's very easy to set these guy lines up when you need to, and they're very effective. Give you a lot more confidence to rig bigger pieces out of the top of a tree like that. Thanks for watching. Hope you catch another video sometime soon. Stay safe out there.